Hello everyone, today we are coming on behalf of Child Evangelism Fellowship, CEF, and for today's craft, we are going to do Lesson 2, Jesus Takes Away Sin, and these are the items you will need to do our craft today. First, we're going to take our colored sheet, folding it in half, and we're going to cut it. This is the image that we're going to draw. If you want, you can pause it so you can get the measurements down. So you're taking your ruler, we're using centimeters, and from the left-hand side, on the short edge, we're measuring 1.5 centimeters. So you're going to put, measure it uh, one point on top and one below, put your dot and then you can join the dots with a dotted line. From that dotted line we're going to measure 1.5 centimeters again and this time we're drawing a solid line. From the bottom and the top we're going to measure 1.5 centimeters. So really and truly we're trying to get 1.5 a 1.5 centimeter border. Now we're going to take our right short edge and fold it to meet our dotted line, crease it, and from that crease, we're measuring 1.5 centimeters again. So from the inside, you should have 7.1 centimeters or 7.2. And now we are folding on the dotted line. We're going to fold it backwards and then fold it forwards because we want it to be nice and pliable. We don't want it stiff. Now it's time to cut out the center. We're just going to fold in the middle where we have to cut and just take our scissors and give it a little snip. So we have a hole in the middle and that will allow us to push our scissors through and cut till we reach the corner of our square, that rectangle that we just drew. So we're meeting all the corners that we just drew so we're going to cut to those two edges now those two corners right to the corner we have to try not to cross it and now we're going to cut on the lines the border of our rectangle that we just drew again you're going to put your scissors on the inside of the hole and then cut on the line and you're going to do that all around So now that's done, we're just going to close it up and it looks like a picture frame. Next you'll take your white sheet of paper and cut a square 13.5 by 13.5 centimeters. And then you're going to draw two dotted lines on each side. 1.7 centimeters from the edge and then when you make those dotted lines you're going to fold on the dotted line like this and now it's time for Bartimaeus we're going to take our plastic sheet which usually holds file papers or reports and we're going to take our cutout of Bartimaeus and to keep him in place, we're going to take a paper clip and just paper clip him in place to hold him down and put him underneath the plastic and then cut out our shape of the paper that Bartimaeus is on. So both Bartimaeus' page and the plastic has to be the same size. Now we're taking our permanent marker and very carefully, we're going to trace the outline of Bartimaeus. We have to be careful not to move our plastic while we are tracing. 
it is very very delicate it is very important to do this and when you're doing his eyes you're not going to do it exactly how it is on the drawing that you have what you have to do is just draw a line outside of the circle of his eyes so he has the black circle and then a circle around that you are going to draw a line slightly around the larger circle of his eyes So you're just drawing the outside and you're not filling in the inside of his eyes. Just two large circles. And this is how Bartimaeus should look on the plastic. The next step at this point should be to color Bartimaeus, the one on the paper. So you can, at this point, color Bartimaeus. After you've colored him, you can stick down your white paper that you folded. I'm measuring my plastic to see if it can fit inside my folds, but it doesn't. I'm going to stick my white paper down anyway. I'm putting glue on my two flaps. And I'm going to stick it down on the inside of the picture frame that we made. I'm calling it a picture frame <laughs> to make it easier. So I'm sticking it down and then I have to close my frame. So I'm closing it and the flap goes at the back. I'm going to put some glue on the flap, the inside of the flap and then close it down. So now I've closed my frame. Now we're taking our 2x4 piece of paper and we're folding that in half along the long side of the paper. And there we're going to stick the, both the paper Bartimaeus and the plastic Bartimaeus. At this point I remembered that it was not fitting inside my white frame so I just shaved a bit of the side off. So if you're doing it and you check it and you realize it's not exactly fitting when when i had tested it before you can do the same thing just shave a little piece off you can use glue or you can use tape to stick the paper down the plastic to the paper and then we put some glue to close it And then we're going to slide it in. So the paper would go to the back of the white sheet. We have to take the paper with Bartimaeus and slide him into the back of the white sheet. And then we're taking the plastic and putting it to the front of the white sheet. So that when you slide him out, he has eyes. He can see. Have you heard about Jesus? Have you heard about Jesus and his love for me? Have you heard about Jesus? Have you heard about Jesus? He died to set me free. And then we're going to take our words, and I chose to stick it at the top where I'm pulling it out to slide. Because for me, it represents Jesus taking away sin. And now at this point, I am coloring Bartimaeus on the paper. If you have had not colored it earlier in the craft, you can do so now. So I'm coloring his clothes, his skin and his hair, his ears, of course. Jesus, 
So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking part in this craft. I hope you try it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's fun. It is wonderful sliding him out and seeing the transformation, you know. Jesus takes away sin. He was blind and then he can't see. And thank you for watching this presentation from the North Branch of CEF in Trinidad and Tobago. Bye everyone.